something. Uh, so he had some complications and he had a cardiac event, which I assume was a heart attack. And then um, he just couldn't withstand the, um, the interventions today, and he, he passed away. So uh, his 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 surgery though was more. It wasn't laparoscopic. I think they had to actually cut him over, cut him open. They did some kind of chemo wash thing, which I, I don't know what that is, but it sounds intense. And uh, you know, anyway. He, he didn't make it. He passed away. They they, they announced it at 4:30 today. Man, I hear uh, I hate to hear that, um, Brian. How old was he? Oh, he was only uh, 61. You know, just 10 years older than me. And uh, yeah, it shell shocked everybody. I mean, nobody expect. I mean, I mean, he did. He planned his funeral before he went through all this. Okay, because that's just the kind of guy he is. But. Nobody expected this to happen. We all thought he would recover. He goes through chemo later, and you know he'd be fine. And uh, yeah, it just um, yeah, it just shell shocked everybody. Nobody expected it. It was really, really kind of horrible. But you know, I mean, he's he's great. You know where he's at. You know he's he's an infinite joy right now. So it wouldn't take anything away from that. But yeah, people are were just it's just can't believe it. For sure, he wouldn't even come back. Wouldn't you know? Nobody wants to come back. For sure, but uh, I hate to hear that. Uh, but you know what? Yeah, yeah, we're all going that way. So uh, you yeah, know, you just have to take every day like you know, treat it like it's your last day. And try to take in every moment, not get uh, complacent and uh, and uh, complain too much. You know. Well, I guarantee you, that he's hanging out with a bunch of people that he's you know, the masses for who passed away. I mean, he's, he's, he's been the uh, pastor of this church since, I'm going to say, before the year 2000, so probably 24, 25 years. And uh, so he's, put a, he's, he's done a lot of uh, funerals and uh, funeral masses, and so I'm sure he's, he's up there with all those people, and they're like, hey, it's about time you get here. That's too young. I'm not too far from that. I mean, 61? I mean, golly, man. I don't think any, nobody expected it. I mean, it just, you know, shocked everybody. And we had a, some prayer time at church tonight and all that kind of stuff. And a bunch of people showed up. And, yeah, it's just, uh, man, uh, just sad to think that he'll never be uh, at the Ambo, you know, doing a homily or, or whatever, you know, again. But uh, yeah, like you say, I mean, it's he's he's an infinite joy right now. He's he's in a much better place, and he's uh, he's he's in eternity. So yeah, we'll all be there at some point. Yep, yep. Uh, well, I'm sorry to hear the news, uh, but uh, anyway, I think I am gonna slide off. It's almost 10:30, so I'm gonna slide out of here and catch you guys. Y'all have a great rest of your night, and we'll catch up with you later on. W4 NNX. All right, have a good one, Kevin. And uh, yeah, find something uh, a big old amp like uh, like like uh, Justin's got, and uh, that way you can uh, talk over him all the time. All right, I'll catch you later. W4 KZO. <laughs> catch you later, Kevin. Safe travels tomorrow. Y'all be safe. Yeah. Tell Greg and everybody say hello. K4 JD. Yeah, good night there, Kevin. Catch you later. Yeah, I think I think everybody should have a AL fifteen hundred, don't you, Chuck? Yeah, man, we can have Big Al number one, number two, number three, number four. <laughs> hey, Brian, my lightning detector did go off. I got one count six miles away, so let's see what happens. I might have to shut down here a little bit. Yeah, well, go look at a lightning map and see where they are. It, it, I, I'm not, to be honest, with you, even mine, I'm not exactly sure, it, you know, when it says six miles away, it might actually be 15, you know. I, I, I don't know how it makes that determination, but. I was just really impressed. You know, I mean, I looked it up just for giggles. Um, I was really impressed that these things are 50-something, you know, $48, $50 a piece, and I'm, I'm still kind of scratch, scratching my head how uh, old Bobby up there got all these, because he had like 10 of them. I mean, he had like 
20 coffee mugs and 10 of these things and 10 of this and 10 of that, and he got it all donated, supposedly. I was just like, I, I thought it was going to be like some 10 or $15 unit. I had no idea. You know, I'm looking at my radar map, and I don't see any lightning up there at all. Oh, no, I see a little bit. I see some, uh, it's south. There's one lightning bolt. It's like west of Yorkville, south of Rockmark. So, um, yeah, it, it might be six miles away. Yeah, it just went off again. It still says six miles away. Yeah, they're showing one bolt. It's not like a bunch. So, and I don't, it's not in a cluster where you see a lot of orange and red and stuff like that. It's like in a green section. It's kind of weird. to the little boys' room, so we'll call it at 30, K4JD. I'll be right back. W4KZO at 30. I 
around nine to one bound. It's supposed to be here Monday, I think. He, uh, I think he shifted out like on a Wednesday or something. So it's already in Atlanta. So it's, I, I guess tomorrow it's going, it's going, it's going to travel up towards me to the post office up here tomorrow, and then, then Monday it'll be delivered. Yeah, yeah, I hate it when it does that. It gets to Atlanta on a Friday, you know, so then you got to wait on it uh, until Monday. I mean, it's no big deal, right? But, uh, yeah, it, that happens to me all the time. Yeah, it's not like I, I'm not going to be able to, um, uh, not going to be able to do anything this weekend with it anyway, so... It'll be interesting to see what results you get. I mean, you've got that little tuner if you have to. And by the way, I looked up the stats on that tuner, and it's pretty stout. I don't. Th it's not just a little three-to-one tuner, so it should be able to handle it if you have to have it, I would think. Yeah, I hooked it up one time to the 7100 when I had that uh, chameleon uh, I guess it's an in-fit or something, portable antenna. I should have kept that one. But, uh, um, yeah, I think this new antenna will be pretty good. Everybody really raves about that Nelson antenna, so. probably just use a tuner in the radio. Well, that's right. You said the radio doesn't have a tuner, right? Yeah, the 7100 don't have a tuner. So are you going to take it to the cabin and try it up there? No, I'm going to hook it up down here. Transformer, but it's still the 80 meter wire from a uh, I'm just yeah. the box only. It's a 9 to 1 piece of it, and uh, yeah, it's only like 40 bucks. So, um, But he makes complete antennas, but I didn't want to. Uh, uh, he makes a lot. He makes a lot of. He, made, he makes the end fed half wave, you know, and then he makes the. The ones with the nine to one. Uh, he makes a couple different stuff on his eBay page. Yeah, that's where uh, that's where I got my eighty meter uh, wire from. I just upgraded the transformer to my antenna transformer. Cause I wanted more power. Yeah, this Nelson guy, he uh, he's. He's the he's got the best prices on the uh, the balance or owning or whatever. He's definitely got a, he's like twenty five dollars cheaper than anybody else. We you know I would have upgraded to his um, higher power balance, but he doesn't talk about it. And I mean I research these things and because you know you can get more loss in the different wrappings and stuff. And from everything I research, my antenna does really good uh, or undesigned designs, uh, 40, uh, you know, 49 to 1 or whatever. So I just decided to get his uh, 56 to 1, and, uh, and that's what I use when I do my inside stuff. So.
other band is up and down a little bit, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to you and then I'm going to switch over to my, uh, uh, my horse fence and let you see the difference. So this is me right now. You stayed me all night on this uh, doublet, so I'm going to switch over. All right, this is me on the horse fence, riding the horse. <laughs> yep, and my SWR is lower on it. I like that, but uh, can you see any difference, uh, Justin? Wow, they're pretty similar tonight. Um, use about an 18 with, uh, uh, about an 18 with, uh, I guess, the double it, and then the horse fence was about a 21. You about a needle width past the 20. Yeah, that's interesting. I, I mean, I, it's hard to tell when the band's up and down, you know, when you switch between them, but, you know, is, is one, you know, is the receive, is it much different? It didn't seem like it was, but, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to tell. So, yeah, that's interesting. Did you switch back to the um, double? No, no, I'm still on the horse. Okay, well, you're at 18 now on the horse, so switch back real quick. All right, now I'm back on Mr. Doublet. So this is the doublet running about 500 watts. Yeah, there's really no difference. Um, yeah, there. I mean, it, it may be a needle's width different. The doublet may be a little a needle width difference, but man, they are very close. Well, that's kind of surprising because I didn't expect that result. So. Uh, maybe this Ballon that I got, this 4 to 1, maybe it's actually a really good one, and it, and it helps a little. I don't know. Okay, you were hanging around a 15 that time. You go back to your horse real fast. All right, this is the horse. Sorry, I can't do it any faster. i got to make sure it's turning right. I'm using the tuner for both of those. Nope, exact same signal. You get about a 15. So yeah, they're they're neck and neck. Is there any audio quality difference that you can tell? Um, not really. No. All right. Well, that's kind of what I expected. If they're the same signal, but I know this one's uh, a little bit better than SWR. But other than that, yeah, and they're both doing about the same power output. Yeah, Brian, it didn't, it didn't change a whole lot on me either. Man, that is very surprising. And we're back on the doublet, Mr. Doublet. I'm getting about, uh, I would say somewhere between... 10, 10 to 20, 10 to 15 watts coming back on the, on the SWR, so that's not bad. I don't know if y'all remember, um, he used to be, you used to see him in politics, he's a, a Baptist preacher, Southern Baptist preacher from, uh, I want to say Dallas, I think he had a First Baptist Church, Dallas, I think.